Everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. Happy Friday. We've got a full slate going on in the WNBA, including a rematch from Wednesday night as the Phoenix Mercury visit the Atlanta Dream for the second time in three nights. And full disclosure, I had a miserable time with this first game because I loved the over, and it was Atlanta 19, Phoenix 6, after one quarter uh, pretty much shooting me down immediately and uh, i'm going to give you a free play in this one that is very similar to my client play that lost the other night because uh for one thing i like zigzag theory and for another i think that phoenix will pick up their level of play and uh, the dream went on to win over the mercury 72 to 63 on wednesday and they are now three and oh since returning from the olympic break and that has forced them into the playoff picture in the WNBA. They're currently ninth, uh, and uh, that means that they are just a heartbeat away from the Chicago Sky. Sky holding on to the number eight spot at 11 and 16. Atlanta has moved up with their three game, uh, three consecutive wins at uh, 10 and 17, and uh, running in seventh are Caitlin Clark's Indiana Fever at 13 and 14. In sixth place is this Phoenix Mercury squad, 15 and 14. They come in now two and two after the Olympic break, but this will be their fifth game in nine days. Uh, So we'll see if their legs are in it. Um, This is a a team that had three U.S. Olympians on the squad in Brittany Griner, Diana Taurasi, and Kalia Copper, who had had a great uh, Olympics and a big role in the gold medal win over France, making some big free throws. She also had a huge game the first time these teams played way back on May 18th. Phoenix won 88 to 85. That was a game that was obviously played without Griner since she missed so much time earlier on in the season. And Phoenix won behind 38 from Copper despite shooting just six for 23 from three point range. But the big difference there was Diana Taurasi and Sophie Cunningham combined for 25 points in that game. And the other day, they struggled. Uh, they shot just two for 10 from three point range. And uh, it was really the struggles of the uh phoenix mercury from three-point range that uh did them in they started slow as i said trailing 19 to 6 finished just six for 19 from three and although they shot 39 percent to atlanta's 34 percent they got destroyed on the boards 47 to 33. uh tina charles had 17 rebounds herself to go along with 12 points and kalia copper's 22 points didn't do much even though Phoenix clawed their way back in the game, but ultimately couldn't break through. The Dream won their third consecutive game. Atlanta has now beaten the Seattle Storm 83 to 81, the Connecticut Sun 82 to 70, and uh, beat the Mercury. So this winning streak that they're on is very formidable. Uh, And the Indiana Fever come into town on Monday which means that uh, they have a chance to really make some inroads if they can continue on this surge and win this game here. Uh, Again, I'm going to stay away from who actually wins this game. The Mercury are a two-point road uh, favorite in this one, but I like the total of over 163 to come in uh, because I think that Tarasi and uh, Sophie Cunningham will get going in this contest. And uh, ultimately, I think Brittany Griner got her act together. And uh, we'll see what happens here. The Atlanta Dream have done a nice job in uh, filling out their uh, score sheet since coming back from the Olympic break. We've seen well, the difference that Jordan Canada has been able to make as a distributor. She's had 20 assists over the last three games, has had a minimum of six in each contest. And in all three wins, the Atlanta Dream have had a different win- leading scorer. Alicia Gray had 21 points the other night. Uh, certainly, they're doing a nice job of keeping everybody involved. Nas, Nas Hillman had eight points and eight rebounds. Uh, one thing to watch is we still have a Cheyenne Parker Tyus out for Atlanta. Same thing with Ariel Powers and for Phoenix Beck Allen is still out. So we're going to ride the over on 163 points in Mercury Dream uh, on Friday night in a game that uh, tips off at 730 and you can watch on ION. Uh, Again, we are looking forward to seeing what the Mercury can do. And uh, I think that they will be more productive than they have been uh, over the last couple of games. They got blown out uh, in Indiana with a slow start. So I think they'll be cognizant of coming out fast. And this one, I wouldn't hate on a first half bet 
on Phoenix in this matchup, too. They'll come home after this one to play New York, Minnesota, Las Vegas, Atlanta again, and then Washington starting on Monday. So they've got to get their act together or they will find themselves in serious jeopardy of missing the playoffs. And nobody expected that from the Mercury. Again, we're riding the over on 163 points, and I also wouldn't hate on Natasha Cloud going over her points, rebounds, and assists prop. Smash that like button for me. Make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV. You can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Nero and at Sports Memo at sm.buzz slash TDM. And be aware that Wager Talk is celebrating its 10th anniversary with a great uh, deal that you should absolutely take advantage of. So go to wagertalk.com and peruse what they have available. We also have some great deals at Sports Memo to take advantage of the college football season starting with week zero here beginning on Saturday. I'm Tony Mejia. Thanks for watching.